Right, so the reason why I was uh, doing that horn, I'm taking it all off now, but the reason why I did it was because um, this car went for an MOT and unfortunately it's failed. Um, here is the failure. Um, so in the uh, UK you need an MOT each year um, until your car gets to a certain age. I think it's like 40 years old or something. And then uh, you don't have to have one, but this car's 1991, so it still needs one. And you see here that I've got a suspension component mounting described area ex excessively corroded significantly reducing structural strength offside rear. So offside is furthest away from the kerb. Um, we drive down the road on the left. Um, so offside is our driver side or the right hand side of the car. Um, and the problem is that um, where this trailing arm bush is so I can see if I can, it's all very uh, rusty down here. Um, it's kind of hard to see, I'd have to kind of take the wheel off, but I mean, you can kind of see some of the rust going on, but it's, the issue is that it's within um, a suspension pickup point and um, all of this and underneath here on the inside is all rusty easy to see on a lift um, and there's obviously rust all the way around the arch <laughs> which is uh, very common I mean these there's rust coming through here um, all the way down the sill there's rust and um, there's a really bad bit actually as well um, if you come here you can see rust there um, the other side it's uh, probably the same I don't think it's quite as bad here but um, if I just show you it's rust 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 a bit of rust here as well um, and then right the way around the arch is uh, not as bad but and there's a bit of rust and it's just here as well bubbling through just below the filler so this car had both rear arches cut out I think it was 2006 or something so I mean that's 14 years ago it's crazy to think that it's 14 years ago but it is um, this is my brother at a track day he said he was gonna get it fixed and he hasn't but, you know whatever it's both of our cars so it doesn't really matter um, but this car is mechanically now fairly good um, but the body is um, kind of knackered which is um, a real pity because of You've seen I've just built the engine and uh, just got everything going pretty well um, but I can't drive it on the road um, because the MOT is just about to expire so there we have it sorry state of affairs I'm gonna try and well I've got two options really I've got more than two options some of my options are um, uh, get it just in you know, the bit that actually failed on so this side get that um, repaired as a kind of temporary fix um, and then Karen driving it once it's got its MOT next option is um, full um, rear arches to get them taken off get all the sills taken off you know full shell restoration full respray uh, mega bucks um, and the last option or one of the last options I don't even want to think about but uh, yeah, I mean this car, I really love it. And I've spent a lot of time, as you've seen on the videos over the years, working on this car. And it would kind of be heartbreaking to um, tear this car apart, which I really don't want to do. But I need to get some proper quotes on um, how much it's going to cost to sort it out. But the shell is uh, really, really tired now. And it'll need a lot of money spending on it and a lot of work doing on it. And unfortunately, although I can do the mechanical stuff, I like to think I can, um, I'm not a bodywork guy, I'm not a guy who can weld, I'm not a guy who can spray a car. Um, it's just not my area of expertise. So, yeah, I need to leave that to people who are going to do a, a nice job, a proper job on it. Another update for you is that I'm actually going in to get the car welded. So where it failed on the uh, rear trailing arm mounting uh, down here. I'm actually going to get that uh, welded up and hopefully that will be enough for the MOT and then uh, 
I can obviously break in the engine, change the oil, do a lot of good stuff, drive the car. Then I need to consider what's next, and what's next I think might be um, full respray, wheel arches cut out, new sills. You know, it's a big job, um, but I think this car uh, might deserve it. But I'm only going to know that um, how much work it's going to be once I take it to the body shop and they tell me what's what. So uh, that's the car for now. I mean, you can see. Um, I did all the work to the interior and stuff. I still need a new seat uh, and bits, a couple of clips in the centre there. Um, but this car has come a long way, done a lot of work to it, and uh, I don't think I'm ready to let go of it. Uh, had it for way, way too long, but it does need to tidy up. Another thing I noticed as well was bits of rust. I'm in the engine bay. Um, that subframe was fully powder coated, so that will obviously be okay. Notice there's some rust appearing down there, which is pretty minor. I mean, it's only for the radiator support, but you know, it needs needs looking at. Um, it just depends on what level. You can obviously go for the engine out, um, do the engine, paint the engine bay, do all that stuff, or you can try and keep it a bit more basic than that. But we'll just have to see what they say and see what the cost of the whole thing is. But um, I think it needs a lot of work. Obviously this wing, I've actually got spare wings. Um, that wing needs work. Uh, this bumper, I'm sure that, that could probably be heated up and pushed down or repaired, I don't know. I've got another bumper as well. Um, so I will keep you informed as to what happens with at least the welding repair. Hopefully I'll be back on the road there with an MAT. But then also I'll keep you informed if uh, this car goes for a full respray, but that might be quite a few months away yet. That might happen over the winter once I've had a bit of a bit of use out of the car. Got the car jacked up on two axle stands. Um, as I said before, the car's got quite a lot of rust. Um, so if I show you down here, that's probably one of the worst bits. Along the sills, not too nice. Um, the other side. Again, repair job there, hole, well I think there's a hole there actually. So again, it needs two new cells. Um, the arches, so just kind of surface rust, and um, not kind of going through or anything, a bit of a scab um, here, and then Go to the other side, bubbling there, and uh, yeah, more there. And then if I go underneath, the thing it failed the MOT on, it's not gonna fail the MOT on the, you know, cosmetics. But if I go underneath here, you can see what's going on, there's a big, big hole there. Um, so that's not particularly great, uh, that's, next to the suspension pickup point so that's why it's failed the MOT um, it's got quite a substantial repair just uh, on from there you can see all that welding has been done so that's what's going to get hopefully uh, welded up and sorted and uh, we need to pass the MOT but it's also interesting to see the condition of all the bushes so um, trailing arm bush is quite uh, perished um, those D2 um, toe arms at the front there, there's a camber arm, there's an LCA. Um, all of them have kind of had their time probably about now. They've been in there a while. I'll just show you. Um, it's probably a bit easier to see this side. Again, trailing arm. Doesn't look terrible, but see how rusty that uh, front toe arm is there. Um, it's the camber arm, it's a bit easy to see there, getting very rusty. Um, and then you've got the LCA, so all those bushes are a bit done. Oh, another thing to point out is the uh, wheel arches. So at the back there's some rust, and on the other side, missing a big bit. Missing a big bit there. Um, so, yeah, 
I mean, it's an old car. Um, it's not actually, I know this sounds crazy, but not as bad as I thought it was. Because um, these arches are a bit scary in a way, but I wonder if they could just be sanded right back. Um, yeah, some people in the comments probably tell me I'm mad now, but um, certainly there's some things here that aren't very clever. That's not very clever. It's coming from the inside. So, in reality, probably end up getting these arches fully cut out. I just wanted to give you an idea of where we stood with the car now before it goes and gets repaired. And then, fingers crossed, after that, get an MAT. So, wish me luck. Back from the MAT. Um, and it's failed first time round and then passed second time round due to the hole I showed you. Um, and here we have the welding repair that's been done. It's done a really nice job actually and he's got the quite OEM looking uh, jacking point which is really nice. Um, so that's really good. I won't show you the underneath because it's raining at the moment, but just to say that this car's got 12 months MOT, which is a victory. 